Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to share a few more things. The beautiful lady that ordered this for me also orders this on a regular basis. She's been doing it since I first got out of the hospital. Heart Miracle 40 Heart Healthy Cardiovascular Nutrients. And it's got the list here and the extended list here. Tons, excuse me, tons of goodies. So I want you to think about your nutrition, your health, how you can replace warfarin with natokinase. You can replace um, carvedilol with hawthorn. This is what's beautiful. The doctor had me on carvedilol warfarin and lisinopril with the two and of course furosemide which is a water pill i'm still on the water pill because that's a constant battle right now but until my heart gets totally healed i'm taking all these all these uh, nutrients as long as god allows listen this hawthorn all by itself check it out uh, what's the other item I wanted to share with you? Don't go anywhere. I know this is not that exciting, but it's so important, you guys. The Hawthorne, this right here, and the natokinase. Okay, this opens up blood vessels. Natokinase is perfect for thinning out your blood, and dissolving blood clots. This makes your heart beat stronger, makes your heart beat slower, and makes your heart beat more regular with rhythm. Instead of boom, 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 which is what my heart has been doing all that time. Uh, the medication, I was taking warfarin for the blood thinner. I was taking carvedilol for the regulated heartbeat. And I was taking um, lisinopril to make it easier on my heart. I mean, everything that I'm taking is for the sole purpose of... of um, What's the word? Diminishing the amount of medicine I put in my body. Okay? It's called the process of elimination. But I'm going to take everything I need to take. If I had a flare-up of AFib, I would definitely take my amiodarone if I have to. But right now, I'm not taking amiodarone. I'm not taking warfarin. Isn't that beautiful? And I haven't taken a lisinopril for the last five or six days. So I am working on this. It's a progress. I will not, I if I have to take something, I will. It's there to take. But as long as I can use these healthy alternatives, that is so much better for my body and so much better for yours. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. All I'm doing is opening your eyes. A lot of us don't know these things. A lot of us don't know that our livers are being compromised, that kidneys get compromised, that all hair starts coming out. There's a lot of things that starts happening. Some people start losing their, their sharp vision because of all these medications. It really takes a toll on the body because it's not natural, it's man-made. So when you take things that God made and is formulated together to help the body heal itself, nutrition is the key to your body healing itself. Nutrition and exercise. I'm not exercising to be skinny. I'm exercising for blood circulation and oxygen and blood flow and 
and working the muscles and toning and I'm, I'm exercising for my health, not for my looks. Okay, that's your little quick exhortation. Just wanted to, to uh, open your, oh, great thing for the heart. You're having heart palpitations. If it's in the beginning stages, you might just be short on magnesium. Magnesium will solve that problem if that is a nutritional deficiency in your body, which most of the time when people have that, if they don't think to take this, they'll be stuck on something else, like carvedilol. But if you start feeling your heart skipping beats, go to the store and buy some magnesium capsules. I get these big black ones because they're liquefied inside. They're healthier, and they go down easy. So that all this stuff, I know it seems like a lot, I'd rather take 15 supplements, you guys, than to take two medications. That's how strongly I feel about the necessity of nutrition, healthy nutrition. For some of you who don't know about meats, meats are the cause, I believe, this is my guesstimation, of at least 50 to 70% of sicknesses that occur in the body, meats. <clears throat> and there's so many sources of protein. This is great. That's what I forgot to tell you. The lady who sent this to me said, this is great for vegetarians. For those of you who are not eating meat, this puts, this is necessary and it comes from a meat source. So it helps your body I don't know if it's plant source or what, but I don't think it's meat. But it is a sub. It's um, an ingredient, a a, nutri a nutrient that comes through meat, and the body needs it. So that's one thing that vegetarians do without sometimes, and they get de uh, diminished, depleted in that. This is a good way of supplementing. And enabling your blood vessels to dilate and flow and all of that. Okay, I'm going on and on because I'm really into health a lot more than I look. Trust me, I really am. But anyway, if you guys ate at my dinner table, you'd probably spit it out because I'm just about at the point where even an egg roll from Jack in the Box, I can't handle it. It's just way too salty for me. It's like eating pure salt. So I am really almost salt free. So... Anyway, I've been working on that for years, decades, because I never wanted to be like my mother, taking medication after medication, this medication, chasing that medication and that medication, offsetting that medication. Oh, no. I'd rather the Lord take me home. I mean it. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>